In this video, let's talk about uh, part A of the bullet problem, right? Notice on the first page here, and it's, it's sad that this is on a different page, right? They give us the mass, right? So the mass is 0 0.032 kilograms, right? They also tell us the length of the barrel, which I don't actually, I don't think I actually use the length of the barrel in any of these calculations, which is kind of funny, right? And then notice that the force changes. It climbs steeply and then it kind of levels off, right? And the question A um, asks why we can't use uh, 1 half AT squared, right? Um, and remember that these formulas uh, are based on a constant acceleration. In fact, this one's actually based on if you had a, uh, you know, it's like this is, this is a UT, right? So here's our initial velocity. This is velocity. And this is time this way, right? So ut and then this is one half base height or at squared, right? Okay, so it assumes that this is a uniform acceleration. Okay, so that's your first thing. It's that, that this formula assumes that this the acceleration is uniform, right? Um, and two, the question is in the bullets case, is the acceleration uniform? And the answer is no, because uh, a is what f over m. Right, so if the force is not uniform, then therefore the acceleration will not be uniform, right? So to answer the question fully, this formula assumes that the acceleration is uniform and uh, the force is not uniform, so therefore the acceleration is not uniform. So that formula won't work. We'll have to do other stuff, right? <laughs>